He's just going to try it on himself. Oh, he's done it. Alex Lopez in off the post. Brisbane Raw and Avenue back into the game. Sweet strike. And Brisbane are on the board. Wentzel Halls. He takes on Kamau. And bends it. Oh, what a goal. That is absolutely sensational from Dylan Wentzel Halls. And forward through Enrique here. Taggart. Just too far in front of Wenzel Hall. Still with it. Wenzel Hall! Oh! How about that for a finish? Dylan Wenzel Hall with an absolute screamer. And Brisbane. Floated back in by Pepper. Graham off balance. Oh! Oh my goodness! Another thumping goal. That is world class from Alex Lopez. And Brisbane double their advantage. To float it in, there's a chance here. Oh, that is a stunning, stunning goal by Eric Botiak. That's one of the goals of the season. Acrobatic, dexterous, almost gymnastic like. The sixth Hyundai Early Grand Final is underway. 50 odd thousand in sight, Suncorp, and pictures being beamed live across North America, Asia, Europe, and Oceania. So much anticipation. Can it live up to the hype, Andy Harper? Well, that's the expectation, Simon, and it's the expectation because of the way Brisbane Raw have played all year. I'm expecting them to... As Broich has hit these corners deep, this towards that area again, and it's headed just wide by Milan Susak. As well, particularly since Luke Devere departed for the Kalik. Jeez, he met that strongly, didn't he? Pedge Boic was... Back ranks behind the goal, waiting the delivery from Broich. Matt Ryan spilled it. Nichols, he's hit the woodwork. Mitch Nichols still alive through Solorsano and now Breutsch. Mackay, way by Svansvik. Only as far as Ivan Franjic drills it through. It's taken a deflection and oh, Mackay's delivery. More central this side, part of the wall just who have planted some doubtful seeds in the Mariners' minds, and this time it's Partley who gets in between two players. Signif Rose over the top, and Davidi was away, but Matthew Breeze has blown for full time. <laughs> the conspiracy well. theorists are going to run him up. McBreed volleys it forward. Now Abini is onside. Is this the chance for the Mariners? Bernie Abini over the top and this is the advantage the Mariners now have a young fresh player McBreen lately turned away from Madoka and here's Abini in the channel again it's Bernie Abini and Theoklatos makes the block still the chance Kwasnik volley and Theoklatos over the top proving once again why he is the Hyundai A-League goalkeeper of the year Bernie Abini's given the Mariners a new lease of life here's the corner Back into the danger zone, there's a Beanie! It's in the back of the net from Adam Kwasnick! The Mariners have scored! And I think it's going to take some pegging back. Stop the Mariners from here if you can. They couldn't clear the danger. Pedge Bow is just thumping the ball back in. The substitute of this period of extra time to go. Matt Mackay drives it. Oh, it's just over the top. Enrique and Hutchinson smash into each other. The Mariners are away. Here's Adam Kwasnick. This could seal it for the Mariners. Great save by Theoklitos first time. Kwasnick steers it up. And Bazanic surely clinches the championship for the Central Coast. One of his family members early this afternoon, there's something like 25 of the extended Rose family. Here's Salos and Oates break away, Andy. Maybe a chance here for Brisbane. Enrique, it's 2-1. Game on, the grand final is not dead yet for Brisbane. No, it would have been a damn squid for Brisbane. And this effort, set up by Solorsano and Thomas Broish, applies the defibrillators to Brisbane's championship claims. They've got one minute. They're still looking to play their way through. Broich. Visconti. No foul, says Matthew Breeze. This Conte trying to square it up. It's behind for a corner. A chance for Brisbane. A huge roar around Suncorp. Graham Arnold can't stand it. <laughs> That's unbelievable tension here at Suncorp. The best team of the A-League era. 
And it goes. the Mariners. Brisbane Raw 2, the Central Coast Mariners 2 after extra time and penalty. penalty. And John Hutchinson scores just. Ivan Franjic, who missed one during the regular season, but he's not missed that one. 1-1. One, one. And he tucks it away with a plump. He's still a hero, Eric Partelou. It's saved by Michael Theophilos. The first big breakthrough in the shootout goes. Give Brisbane the advantage. And he does, the captain. He saved one already, another one, and Brisbane are almost there. Pejbovic. He's saved again, Michael Theophilos. Brisbane Raw! Penalty of the sixth season of the Hyundai A-League and win the title for Brisbane. One kick separating Brisbane Raw from their second trophy of the season. Enrique against Ryan. It's all on this. Enrique scores! Brisbane are the champions! And who'd have thought we'd have been saying that? some 10 minutes ago what an incredible comeback what an incredible team this brisbane raw side is it's brisbane's day it's brisbane's roll turn away now o'neill being one of brisbane's best oh the turn what an equalizer brad inman with something special it is 1-1 one, one in Newcastle, and we haven't seen many better strikes than that. Trickery from O'Shea. How's the delivery? Pretty good. Back post, Jai. And in it's for number two for Brisbane. They put their bodies on the line at the back post. And Stephen Mork. Well, Here's the Welshman. And it breaks the way of the danger man. Brad Inman with the quick feet. He's got two. What a clever finish that was. Brilliant attacking play from Brad Inman. A standing ovation with a kid born in Adelaide all that time in the UK. Boys. Order by O'Shea and Macaulay Gillespie has his first goal for Brisbane Raw. And a timely one it is too. To drag the Raw back level. 1-1. the predecessor, the NSL. Here's the team news. Now, Perth Glory have been forced into making one change with Andrasino's groin injury. In and Brisbane Raw get us underway for the seventh Hyundai A-League Grand Final. Going live across Australia, New Zealand, the UK, Mehmet. Still going, Billy Mehmet. Good feet. He's found a teammate, Travis Dodd, smelts at the near post. Dodd can't find him, across it comes, it's in! Billy Mavitt, it might have been an own goal. Of... Dribble right through the heart of the football field. Travis Dodd fired the second effort back across goal, and it is an own goal from Ivan Franjic. Breutsch, whipped in towards Marisha! Showpiece Stadium in Australian football has gone off and Bessar Barisha has left. Check the watch from Jared Gillett. Bratton. Breutsch slips it through. Barisha a chance to win it. Snaffled up by Van der Brink and then down goes Barisha. Penalty! Penalty for Brisbane Raw. Barisha celebrates as though they won. Barisha into the penalty area. He scrapped and he persevered. It's an air swing from one view. Here he goes. This will be instructive, the first replay. Not so. And he looks to pull the trigger. Not sure about that at all. Comes down to a penalty kick. And Barisha scores! And Brisbane Raw have won the grand final. Amazing set. Now have back-to-back 
Championships. Well, here's the replay of the situation. Perseverance, A plus for best apparition. Liam Miller, the man in question. Does he make contact? Well, that replay again doesn't really tell the story. And best apparition. Desperate stop from Perth. Forward it goes. The whistle blows. It is Brisbane again. Bessart Marisha with a double. The second from the penalty spot. Hugely controversial. A massive talking point. But the grand final goes according to list of circumstances. The full time scoreline. Like it was in the first half. That's a better ball. You can't control it. It's often it gets pumped and he's through. Wenzel Halls. He had this chance last week on. Oh, neat little touch to try and get rid of Ansel. Wenzel Halls. He finds the back of the net. And perhaps... Victory got a second defender back there. And maybe they should have been. But take nothing away. That's a great individual goal from Wenzel Halls. Great feet. Shimmy's one way. Goes the other way. Thought the lob was on there. But he comes back in. A fabulous game against the victory. Finds Danzaki. Opened up for the strike. Deflection loops in and Riku Danzaki. Positive that from Danzaki. Accepting the space and time on offer. And he sized up the target and pulled the trigger. An unbelievable bad luck for Newcastle and Topor Stanley, off whom the deflection led to Puyo's opening goal. O'Shea wants to keep peppering this right hand side. And does release Ingot, who does well to keep it in, and that's a lovely header. And the opening goal they deserve Brisbane Raw, and it's Dylan Wenzel Halls yet again. Well, there you see, Ingot doesn't have time to, to think here. He's just whipped this across into an area, hoping that someone's attacking it. And boy, did Wenzel Halls attack it. That is a super header. He continues his run from midfield. McDonald. O'Shea will have a crack from the top of the box and oh puts a top corner one much better than that one that is absolutely superb curling all the way into that top corner no chance again for dealing off and brisbane just worked it worked the space Sirio can't get there in front of brown who won the ball Sotirio stays down crosses in they're lining up and they've got the equalizer a league and mabratu has got brisbane back into it well that's the best cross they've produced and mabratu with a good header gets uh, the goal that Brisbane deserve in his second against a fourth grand final for them here's the Redmayne holds off the claims of Liam Reddy in goal Mark Bridge is without a goal in his last seven just the one change from the raw app it is the 55th and final Wanderers match at Turtek Stadium in its current form one of the biggest of the lot he's stationed right in front of him and he's a tall figure Donaghy Corona's delivery, looking for Breutsch at the near post. And what Last week, it's Andreu, his arms are up. Yep. No problem. Great pick, Peter. Precision. And there was a hush around the stadium because no one... Brisbane to strike early. Dimitri Petratos from 11 metres against Andrew Redmayne. And he scores, fires it into the roof of the net. Andreu. Let's see how they deal with the free kick. Corona again on set piece duty. Oh, and in he goes! They've got a second! Oh, two goals to the good. Yeah, I think it's an own goal, so it is. Oh, it's poor old Andreu. Oh. He's conceded the penalty for goal number one, and his derriere helps him to goal number two. It's designed. They come again though, Brisbane. Borello going first time. McLaren gets there ahead of Alberto on the turn. It's three! You couldn't make this up! Jamie McLaren! Brisbane! On offside, but I think Alberto's played him on. Too much speed, Brandon Borello. It's a cross in hope more than anything. Alberto's there. Andreu again can do nothing. It's really ineffectual defending in the end. And it's a deflection then that gets over. Wall. Castlin had that early chance. Goes through the wall! What a hit! 3 1. Castlin's 
taking a tumble, but Santalab is away. One on one with Jamie Young. It's Santalab! Alberto about to make their move at the back post. Nichols trying to barge his way through and it's towards Nichols, but getting clear by Corona. Lofted back in by Jamison, nodded down by Topper Stanley. Nichols and Young equal to it. There's a scramble and Castellin 3 3. The comeback complete. Pertex Stadium going off. Dimas with the free kick. Jamie Young with the punch. He's not quite got the distance he wanted. Drops for Castellin. Hat trick 4 3. Astonishing. Corona. Hervas. Good movement by the Spaniards. He'll slip through for Tommy Orr. Enrique on the left. It's Enrique. And here's McLaren. Can you believe this? It's 4 4. Staggering. Between the defence and midfield, he releases the pacey. Tommy Orr. It's a miss hit. It's nothing. Jamison. Give and go, but uh, Shannon Cole pirouettes beautifully. Lovely football, Vinicic! Palmed away by Young. Still alive for Mark Bridge. And Vinicic! 5-4! Utter madness! Off the... Is there time for Brisbane? No! Full-time whistle. That was an epic contest. But it is the wondrous just as it was here three years ago. Full-time scoreline after extra time. Western Sydney Wanderers 5, Brisbane Royal. So off we go in the grand final. Two teams locked in combat for the domestic game's biggest prize. There is certainly no love lost between Wanderers fans, perhaps sensing a goal is imminent. Oh, no, with the end swing, a free-handed in post and a goal for the Wanderers. The breakthrough arrives through Matthew Spiranovic. Disastrous defending by Brisbane Raw. Thomas Broich just came too far. Broich came too far. Spiranovic left free. To enter the fray, but not just yet. We're into the final five minutes. Broich to chip it in, and there's Broich in there. To be big games, big moments, and how much bigger do they come? Broish to Barisha, the killer bees at the Caxton Street end of Sun. Their feet in orange. Broich to clip it in, it comes off a wanderer's head, and the full time whistle goes. There will be no time for the Gotland level with just four minutes to go after Matthew Speranovic seemed likely to send the trophy to Lee capriciously. Top or Stanley injury pivotal. It's made the tactical battle so clearly won by the Wanderers. To try and will their team over the line. Broich is delivering. Smith goes for it but doesn't win it. Brisbane will get another go through Broich. Perhaps left footed this time. Stefanuto. It's towards Enrico, he's not the tallest, he's managed to flick it on towards Donaghy. Here's Enrico, chance! Enrico! He's done it again! The substitute has scored in the grand final against the Mariners in 2011, does it in 2014? Is that the chance? The fact that he won this contest, he's half the size of Jokopela Rocker and somehow he wins the header to keep the attack alive and the cutback falls fortunately not just to him but then off his own touch sits brilliantly thereafter and the Brazilian takes a millisecond to pick his Royce with the flick Madoka will have a shot from goal oh! it's Ivan Frenic what a strike by Ivan Frenic and that's the second and he hit it like a bullet what a Absolute stunner, Ivan Franjic. I'm not sure how many goals he scored, but he wouldn't have scored a better one than that. We've seen some speculative efforts tonight, some ambitious from the half-hit clearance, and it just arrowed into the net through the crowd. That is stunning. Well, that is one of the cleanest strikes of the football. Swung away beautifully. And 
Here's the celebration. Mark Bosnich could be in a bit of trouble here. Well, that has to 